Welcome back, everyone. Time to celebrate an Ohio and the pride of Salina, Ohio. An innovator, inventor, UT alum, engineer, military man of the 180th. He wears a lot of hats and apparently wears them all pretty well. The man behind the product that'll hold your tools in place in awkward positions, like when working on an airplane, carb maintenance, or other awkward spots. It's called the Grip Mat. You may have seen him make the pitch on ABC's Shark Tank. Sharks ate it up. And now that invention, the grip mat, is on the cover of Time Magazine, one of the best inventions of 2018 edition. My interview with Tom Burden a few weeks back. Let's go to the genesis as yep. you came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. It's stuff sliding off the, yeah. the, the airplane. And then it goes, and then we fast forward to Shark Tank. Right. How right. long did that process take, Tom? Uh, that was about three years. So uh, I was in my mom's car. And I noticed she had a non-slip mat on her dashboard to hold her cell phone in place. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, we can make these larger for tools. And uh, yeah, so then just started prototyping. And I uh, actually was, participated in an event on campus called um, Startup Weekend. And that's where I really kick-started the, the, the idea. Smart folks who, smart young people come up with stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. You were, you were one of them. Yeah. And this thing takes off. Uh, I mentioned the sharks on Shark Tank mm -hmm. ate it up. And they did. Mm -hmm. Rarely do you see the sharks battling over who's going to give uh, the yeah. inventor more money right, right. and more, more right. piece of the company, right? Right, right. So tell us about that experience. That was, that was pretty intense. Um, so it's, it's really, really extreme because the entire time you, you like never know if you're going to make it on the show. There's about 50,000 people wow. that apply. Um, to about 120 will actually air. So the really scary part is 200 will film and then 120 will actually air. So you mm. can film and still not get on. Okay. So it's really nerve wracking and uh, you basically will get, we got, you'll get like a two or three week window prior as a thumbs up like, hey, you're going to be mm -hmm. on. You can start telling people now. So um, we actually, so you can basically fly out to LA, hang out at the hotel and they'll say, hey, sorry, we couldn't get you. Because mm. it costs so much money to have the cast there, um, they always want to have, have entrepreneurs ready to go. So you fly out. We did a practice pitch. I end up bombing the practice pitch mm. really bad. The practice pitch is in front of the cast, the producers, and the director. And what happened was I had a jet with me that was going to be on stage. And uh, I had it with me during the practice pitch. And I bomb it to the point where my producer had to yell at the next line for me to keep going. and. Uh, I said to the director, I was like, do we got time for one more? And he's making a beeline towards me, yeah. towards the front. And he's like, he's like, no, we don't have time. And then he starts taking a selfie with the jet. And then everyone started swarming around the jet, taking pictures with the mm. jet, because they just loved it. And uh, so the next day, we had an off day. And I just practiced in the parking lot over and, for like 12 hours, over and over. And uh, the following day, I ended up knocking it out of the park. Yeah, you did. I mean, yeah. you knocked it out of the park. By the way, how'd you get that? Have jet will travel? Uh, what yeah, was that all I did about? some things I wasn't too proud of, but uh, <laughs> we got we got it there. Um, there's prop houses in LA okay. that they'll. There's certain prop houses that are targeted to certain things. So like this one was anything with aviation. You go you go to them for um, anything you need really. So they would also have like the inside of an airplane, um, like like an airliner if you needed to film something for that. What happened uh, after the Sharks uh, said, yeah, we're gonna, we want to be on board? Lori Griner wanted, she, she jumped on board, right? Yeah. So what has happened with the business now? Yeah, so ended up getting three Sharks. We had Mark Cuban, Lori Grenier, and Richard Branson, who was a guest shark. Was it 200 grand a piece? What, it was 120,000 each okay. and then 10% each. So um, that was really exciting. And it's been really, really crazy. Um, I bet. I've been, it's kind of like round robin with the sharks where I'm, I do a weekly update for the sharks. But um, I end up talking to them or someone from their team probably every other day, uh, which is which that is awful. Cool. Yeah, they're very, very responsive. Um, it's their money, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people, uh, people have asked me, they're like, are, are they really that mean in person? <laughs> and I was like, when you. When you're asking for money, they're mean. When you have their money, they're nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, genu they're genuinely nice people. Um, yeah, so we've been doing a ton of like cross-branding with, with the Virgin family. 
which has been really exciting. Um, Mark's, you know, mentorship and insight of the company has like really helped us take it to the next level. And Lori has had, you know, a ton of introductions right. for the marketing you know, standpoint. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Um, this is where she's really, really strong at. Okay, so Dave, our director, I think camera five, Dave. Uh, there it is, uh, the grip mat here. So this is the medium size, right? Yep, yep. That holds those tools in place. Yep, yep. And uh, some of our uh, colleagues here were saying, I can't believe somebody didn't come up with this before because it seems like common sense. Right, Tom. right, yeah. It's, uh, it's not a genius idea. It's definitely a clever idea. So that's what gets me excited, especially I, I think this should get you know, a lot of other inventors excited. Is it doesn't have to be the cutting edge of technology. Mm -hmm. It can be something that you know, has been overlooked that could have been made years ago. Please don't take that as a criticism <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I mean, yeah. it's like some of the best things are... Like, of course, Sim this simple, should work, yeah. right? Simplicity is key. Yeah, and on the show, they talked about morphing this into the auto industry as well. Has yeah. that gone anywhere since? Yeah, we have actually have done a lot with the auto industry. Okay. So really started in aviation and then been growing out to a lot of different industries. Um, we actually got... Last year, we were first place at the SEMA launch pad. So SEMA is a really big automotive community, and we got first place in their, in their business competition, and that, that really helped kickstart it in the auto industry. So we recently have been working with top-notch tool companies such as Mac Tools, Cornwell, Maco, and Snap-on. So those are like the high end okay. of the tool industry. Um, amazing companies to work with. You want to, what about the big box stores? You want to get into Lowe's, Home Depot, what have you? Yeah, that's something that we're definitely growing into. Um, we're kind of doing like the the high end, and then working into the those really mass markets. Okay. So we should be, you know, be in those Home Home Depots and Lowe's probably in the next uh, eighteen months. Okay. How, are you the how many employees? Tom yeah. Burton, making so, the grip. Here. Yeah. When, Selling it, making it. Right. Right. When. Um, I was on Shark Tank, we, it was just me and our other guy, Ray, and he was on board for like two weeks, which was kind of crazy, because I was like, The hey. other guy, Ray. Yeah, <laughs> Ray. So Ray, Ray was, just got on board, and I was like, hey, I think we're doing Shark Tank. I don't really know. And he was like, uh, okay. And then, and then I was like, no, we're actually like, get a plane ticket, we're going. And he's just like, okay, um, hang on, <laughs> hang on to your, to your seat. So uh, now we have 10, so that's pretty okay. exciting. So. I've been growing rapidly. Uh, it's pretty pretty crazy because, you know, before Shark Tank, it took me like a year to sell 10,000 grip mats, and now, you know, we've done that in a week before. So you can't uh, make 10,000 in the basement. Yeah, making 10,000. Yeah, we're out of the basement now. Um, that's a that's a hot basement. All right. Well, it's a great story. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, a uh, young man from Salina, Ohio. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and what drew you to the University of Toledo? Was it the College of Engineering that brought you here? So it was a combination between the College of Engineering and the 18th Fighter Wing. So okay. I en en ended up enlisting right out of high school. I was still in high school, and I wanted to be a part of, you know, F-16 weapons. And they said, you know, the only place for that in Ohio is, is the 18th Fighter Wing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was recognized that... Y you know, the University of Toledo had a really strong engineering program. So I was like, well, you know, it sounds like a perfect fit. Because um, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be an engineer. And uh, I was always kind of like wondering which, co you know, engineering college I would go mm -hmm. towards. And, you know, that just basically gave me the answer. So. Well, I'll yeah. tell you, UT is certainly glad that you selected uh, the University yeah. of Toledo yeah, and yeah. the 180th Fighter Wing. So uh, doing yeah. both proud. Yeah, out there on, on the national stage. The grip mat, there it is. We're, we're not here to shill for any particular <laughs> product, but, uh, but we say congratulations thank on you. all your success. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we'll see down the road here yeah. and your hey, product as thanks well. Thanks for having me, sir. Tom Burton, the inventor of the grip mat. We'll come back on Conklin & Company in just a minute.